You know, when the, uh, the group was up here and they said uh, they th were thinking about something fine, I mean, I was thinking about, like, uh, the synthetic crop that would have the, uh, make the potato chips, spit out the beer, moonshine, whatever. So anyway, in, in mo moving towards that, uh, we figure the easiest way to get into synthetic uh, plant uh, genomes is through the chloroplast genome. The chloroplast genome, uh, like mitochondrial genomes, uh, are accessories to, 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 the, to the nuclear genome. And so um, we started doing this, and now we've realized that maybe we need to think smaller to go big, so the mini symplastomes. Um, the, uh, uh, whoops. the tobacco uh, is, uh, is, is the plant that's been genetically engineered the most probably, especially for uh, chloroplast engineering, so just popping in single genes, right? So we chose that as our, as our first plant to, 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 to go for, uh, and not for smoking. It's just a model, right? Uh, but the, 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 the plastome, the native plastome, uh, tobacco genome is about 150 KB, so it's, it's, it's reasonable in size. Uh, it's got dozens of genes, uh, and, 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 and these genes are, have a very much uh, uh, prokaryotic type of structure. So why, why the symplastome? Well, functionally speaking, it has a lot of benefits. One is uh, that you can really express transgenes to, to, to a very high level. Uh, you can also get coordinated uh, expression because you can use operons, just like a bacterial system. There's mater maternal inheritance, which means that the uh, uh, transgenes, the symplastomes, anything that you put on the plastome, uh, d d basically doesn't, d d is it wouldn't be spread through pollen. Um, and there's a lack of transgene position effects because you're just making the whole thing and sticking it in, so you only need one transgenic event. So what we're doing is uh, we're shooting for, for fuels, and bio, fuels and bioproducts, and RPEs funded that, started uh, last year. Uh, we're shooting for improved photosynthesis, basically uh, installing carboxysomes in, in an algal system. Uh, DARPA's funding that uh, starting next month. And, and the one I'm really excited about is the nitrogen fixation, right? because higher photosynthesis and, and endowing nitrogen fixation are probably two of the biggest sustainability traits. And I, I believe if you actually do something like that, uh, people aren't going to care, care whether it's a GMO or not. If, it's, if, if, it's, if it has a huge upsides, like sustainability, and can produce beer directly. Um, so what we what we've done is 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 we've uh, designed and 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 had synthesized various parts, and these parts are uh, being um, and, and basically it's modeled after the tobacco uh, plastome, but but there's lots of changes in there, uh, and and so you know what we're hoping to do is to put it all together. In fact, we're assembling it now, and. Um, what we've noticed is that, of course, whenever you do this, do something that hasn't been done before, you know, there, there are problems and, and challenges. So some of the challenges are um, at the assembly level, there, there, there's some homology within the parts. Okay, so we're not sure that when they're going together at this point, they're going together exactly how we want them to go together. Uh, we're also worried about delivering the entire uh, plastum, 150, uh, KB thing into in, in, into chloroplast and then uh, replacing the native plastome, um, and 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 then of course uh, at the molecular level it can be recombination between the symplastome and the native plastome. So we started looking at some other systems, and so we're we're, we're we've been inspired by algae, especially dinoflagellates, which uh, are um, ancient eukaryotic algae that basically have many circles instead of one giant plastome. So we've, uh, we've, we've basically looked at that model of, of, of dinoflagellates and, and, and thought to build 10 mini symplastomes, all with a similar core, just like the dinoflagellate does it, and then blast all those in, uh, in basically to, to do co-transformation using the same uh, selectable marker, uh, various uh, fluorescent protein markers, and then plug-and-play genes uh, that, that uh, come come with t the tobacco plant, but also things that we want to put in in those many symplastome modules. Um, and and uh, so, 
Uh, that, that's kind of the pitch. I appreciate uh, your attention, and I believe there's alcohol over there. <laughs> Thanks.